What's up guys, it's Allison and today I'm going to be doing this summer living book tag because I'm going on vacation and yeah, that's all what summer is about, right? The start of summer, pick a book with an attention grabbing first sentence. If we're going with any book, Percy Jackson, I mean the title for one, I accidentally evaporated my pillow with a teacher. This isn't going to make you read this book, I don't care how old you are, that doesn't enjoy you. And this one, this, look, I didn't want to be a half dead, why, why didn't you want to be a half dead Percy? If we're going with strictly YA, I choose Legend because one, who doesn't want to read Legend? I mean, two, the first part is called The Boy Who Walks in the Light, which intrigues me. Why was Sammy in the first sentence? My mother thinks I'm dead. Why does she think you're dead, Jay? What's going on? And also, I love the text in this book. The day in June's text is a different color. Too, too hot to go out. Pick your book for the day. In. Who reads outside? Who, who does that? Who just goes, oh yes, I'm going to go read outside in the sun? Who does that? So any book besides that uh, depends on what mood I am in. Can I go with Fangirl? I love Fangirl. I need to reread this. So Summer Road Trip. Pick a book you take on the road. Well, I was going to show you guys what books I'm taking, but I haven't exactly decided yet. I know I'm going to take The Heart of the Phoenix, um, The Half-Blood Prince, and um, Deathly Hallows, the last Harry Potter book, and I could take some. I hope I find Daughter of Smoke and Bones because I can't find the first one in paperback or hardcover. I like the second and the third in hardcover. I'm going to take We Were Liars because that sounds like a really good short book. Maybe The Sword of Summer because... I want to read this before October, and I'm going to see you with Jordan, which is going to be amazing. The Ice Tea Goddess. Pick a book with a cold setting. Stork. Or Wendy Diesel. Nasty Sunburn, a book you really dislike so far this year. I don't like voicing books that I don't like. Because I think it's really rude and disrespectful to the author who put their heart and soul into these books. You don't need to go and publicly dirt them. I just, I can't, I can't side with that. I may not like a book, but I'm not going to, I hate this book. This is why I hate this book. This book is horrible. I hate it. I can't, I can't voice the hate for opinion. Because somebody loves that book. And it's like, you're dissing their taste. And this author put everything into this book. And you are... You're tearing them down so badly. I just, I can't. I can't support that. Sizzling Read. Recommend one of your favorite books. Can I recommend Percy again? Should I read Percy and everything by Rick Riordan? But if you guys are like, enough, Allison. You recommend Percy in every video. Knock, knock. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna go, it's my video. I'm going to recommend Percy if I want to recommend Percy because Percy is the best thing ever. And after that, I'm going to go go read The Pilgrim and the Treatment because they're beautiful books. Now we need to know the author, don't you? This is a name. I need to reread these because they're really awesome and then I'm going to read The Remedy. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!